Hey guys, in this video lecture, we will create a logout view to be to log out the user and we'll do some tweaks in the navigation bar. So open up the views.pw file and just import the logout here, which is inside the jungle.contrib.org. Import logout and we will now define a view here for logging the user out using user log out which takes the request parameter and immediately after that we need to use logout method uh, as it is which takes only single parameter which is the request parameter and any user associated with the request in current session will be logged out of the website using logout method we have imported after that we will return a redirect to the post list view after log the user out will it will redirect us to the post list view or the main index page we need to import that redirect here with, from in within the django.shortcuts import here according to the django documentation redirect returns an http response redirected to the appropriate url for the arguments passed so we can may have to make the url here using url for our logout function for the logout function here it starts with logout and ends with dollar sign which takes a view as a user logout and let's name it Excuse me inside the brackets name user logout our url is now configured for our logout view and if we refresh the browser login first with the abhishek user it is now redirecting to the post list view the user is now logged in and if we hit logout url here the user is logged out and it is still giving the direct uh, post list view read, uh, or the index view now we'll do some changes in um, actually one more thing we can also use http response redirect here instead of uh, redirect as we did in the user login function just copy it and see it if it is working just refresh the browser again we can be able to log in the user again just try to log in this time we'll use jose and password is the same as password one two three and it is still working but we stick with the redirect here instead of using http response redirect to make this concept more clear you can use both of uh, you can use any of this Either you can use HTTP response redirect with the reverse, and or you can use a simple short uh, method which is the redirect method. Now we will do some tweaks in the navigation bar here. So open up the navbar.html and uh, we'll check if the user is authenticated. So that it will show if the user is authenticated, it will show the logout button. Otherwise, it will show the login button. So we don't need these disabled button and inside the comment section we'll copy this or cut this part so that it will show the drop down menu and inside the nav by nav of the second ul class we'll paste it here and we'll check if the user is authenticate authenticate authenticated using request dot user dot is authenticated underscore authenticated if is the condition or the template tag to check the condition if the user is authenticated we did here we'll use span and we'll write hi here and inside the context variable we use request dot user to specify the username at the navigation bar we don't need the anchor tag three anchor tags here we just need if the user is authenticated we use log out it should uh, prompt for log out drop down menu and we'll use the reference here which is the url user logout and inside this for login we'll use url here as well hyper reference here as well which is user login which will redirect us to the login page and what if user is not logged in 
it will show the login button to log the user in and we need to close the if condition we have opened which by using and if template tag also we'll do some tweaks in we don't need the list item for link and the home button has appeared here we don't need this and for the navbar brand we'll use the avis hyper reference as url to the post list view or the index web page should appear to the index web page if we refresh the browser we can see hi jose is now appearing and we and the logout button is also appearing if we log out the user it will show login button here if we log in the user it will show the page and we'll see a fish shake here and write password at the one to three log in to the user you can see hi abhishek is now showing and the logout is still working and you can see here the first letter of the username is small to make it capital we use a template filter on the request dot user like this by using the pipe and we'll use cap first which is the built-in template filter to make the context variable according to on the context variable to make the use of that template filter accordingly so cap first is used to capitalize the first letter of the username as we have used request.user here so just save the file and refresh the browser again we can be able to see hi abhishek a is capital now and if we log out the user is now logged out so this is it guys see you in the next video lecture